<clears throat> Hello, good evening, guys. Thank you so much for being on time. All right. Uh, once again, my name is Rene Escamilla. I'm going to do double check. We are going to double check uh, the topics that we've been checking so far. All right. So as a matter of fact, the same topic that we've been checking so far. So and now uh, just let me to ask you, how are you doing tonight, guys? Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. How are you doing tonight? Good? I'm fine. Great. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. That's good. So far, so good. All right. Yeah. What about the empathy? Remember, don't forget about the empathy. All right. So we're all with you. What about I you? Do. Remember, I do what about you? All right. So what about you? Remember, guys, uh, we've been learning some information related to the greetings, to the way that you need to answer or you need to complete uh, certain sentences, right? Porque estamos acostumbrados a cuando nos dicen, how, uh, how are you? Usted dice, good. And you, ¿verdad? Se oye bien así, bien, bien monótono. Entonces, yesterday we were, uh, what was the last topic from yesterday? So, neither, either, what else? Will, 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 will. and will, right? So, ya sabemos las, las formas informales y formales de cómo vamos a pedir las cosas. Cómo vamos a, vamos a pedir eh, ciertas cosas al momento que queramos ordenar algo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, remember that we need to use those uh, little details all the time. Modal verbs auxiliaries all the time right because at that point your vocabulary or like or, or when you start talking like the way you talk you will sound better all right no no like when we start classes right remember that you guys were talking like a, um and mm. so ahora siempre acuérdese modal verbs adverse frequency um auxiliaries Irregular, irre, in regular, irregular, uh, in regular verbs. All those, I mean, all those uh, topics needs to be in your mind all the time, all right? So very good. First of the first, we are going to double check our motivation part. And let me see right now. One second. Let me know if you're able to see what I'm checking. Just a moment. Let's see. Give me one second, please. All right, let's see. All right. Give me one second. All right, let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now, guys. Do you see anything? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. Um, let's... Uh, Rock and roll the class and let's start, right? So let's repeat everybody. Motivation. Come on, let's go. Motivation. Let's go. Motivation. 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 Excellent. 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 We're going to be repeating motivation, motivation all the time. You know what? If you stop taking classes with me every day, you try to mention that word in your mind and said motivation needs to be in my mind all the time because otherwise I'm not going to be completing my goals like the way I want it, you know? All right, I don't know if I, if I, I already show you this quote, but you tell me. Ya habíamos visto esta, este, este quote. ¿Verdad que no? Todavía no. No, no. no. All right. Excellent. All right, so let me read it for you first, and then we are going to practice together. All right, so it goes like this. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. Okay, let me read it once again, okay? Mistakes are proof that you are trying. Okay, let's repeat it. Everybody, mistakes mistake are proof. Mistakes are proof. You are trying. 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 Repeat. Trying. 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 Right. Mistakes. Repeat. Mistakes. 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 Proof. 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 Ahí, ahí sí póngale la R de salvadoreño, ¿verdad? La que siempre le ponemos nosotros, la de... Qué rico, ¿verdad? Esa, esa R que no siempre nosotros la mencionamos, ¿verdad? La R de, de Ramiro, de Roberto, de, de, de Ricardo. De, nosotros decimos así, 
René, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí ponga, ahí, es, ahí sí pronúncela de esa manera. Proof. Repeat. Proof. 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 Double O, Proof. remember. Double O. Proof. 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 All right. Proof. So what is what did that mean? What did that mean? As a matter of fact, what did that mean, Mr. Escamilla? Mistakes are proof that you are trying. Okay, so ¿cuántos errores hemos cometido desde que empezamos el, 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 el ¿cómo se llama? El, los cursos. Cuénteme. Amelia, Amalia. Amalia, tell me how many how many mistakes do you think you already made? I made very much. Many of them, right? Many of them. Yes. Actually, yeah. yes. All right, so what about you, uh, Joao? How many mistakes do you think you already ca uh, commit? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> A lot, right? A lot of mistakes, right? So and then, so let me just confirm this lovely quote, right? This is Los Errores. Permítame, vamos a apagar la novela porque estamos oyendo ahí la, la Rosa de Guadalupe. Vamos a ver, permítame. Bueno, respeto a la Rosa Guadalupe, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Hold on one second. All right. All right. So, los errores son prueba de que tú lo estás intentando. Los errores son prueba de que tú lo estás intentando. All right. So, sometimes uh, we go to the school, right? Sometimes we go to, to the university. Pero siempre viene un problema, ¿verdad? Siempre viene un problema que no hay dinero, que, que nadie me cuida a los niños, que no tengo trabajo y mil, mil, mil de excusas o mil, mil problemas en un, en un solo camino, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, siempre van a haber errores, ¿verdad? Esos son obstáculos, ¿verdad? Pero los errores serían cuáles. El error equivocarse, salí mal en el examen final, por eso no me gradué. Eso no, eso no le quito un brazo, ¿verdad? Eso no le quito un ojo. Y solo por eso va a dejar de estudiar, ¿verdad que no? Entonces, mistakes are proof that you are trying. Remember, you will commit, you will make a lot of mistakes, all right? Pero yo prefiero que usted se equivoque acá conmigo a que vaya a ser un error allá a la calle, ¿verdad? Remember, so, no sé si le dije yo la vez pasada, ¿cómo se dice? Este, este es un paréntesis, right? ¿Cómo se dice primero Dios en inglés? Any volunteer? Primero Dios, pero rápido, así, one, I mean, four, five, four, three. In good truth. No. No. No, no. Five, four, three. Feels good. Feels good. First God, no. No, 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 no. Never, 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 ever in your life said that, ¿ok? Nunca en su vida vaya a repetir eso porque me, le, me lo van a achicar y no quiero que me lo, me lo achiquen. Se dice así, mire. All right. Aquí lo escribo en el chat. God's will. All right. God's will. All right. <coughs> A la hora de... God's willing. God, no. God's, God's willing. willing. God, God's no. will. Primero Dios. Mm -hmm. God's willing, you know, la, sea la voluntad de Dios. Pero es God's will. All right. So let me tell you uh, some, I mean, a quick advice. Never ever in your life, if you get a, any new interview, talk about something that you don't even know. Nunca en su vida en una entrevista voy a estar hablando de algo de que usted no sabe. All right. So you need to be precise and concise, right? To the point, to the point, to the point. Because if you start talking about 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 la novela, some some operas and, and and stuff like that, right? So people is going to ask you, right? I mean, the interviewers, you know. In my case, if you start talking to me about music, I will ask some some questions about music. But you need to be ready about that. If you start talking about medicine. I will, maybe you, I mean, the interviewer that is going to be in front of you, it's, it's studying, you know, uh, medicine. All right. So, por eso, si usted va a hablar de algo, te, téngalo por seguro de lo que va a hablar. O sea, no le, no le voy a decir, este, primero Dios me den el trabajo. First God, you gave me, I mean, first God, you, you will hire me. No, ahí, ahí, lo, ahí lo ponchan. So, God's will are going to be higher. All right. God's will going to be higher by you guys. Watch. All right. Very good. Excellent. All right. So, so, mandeme un thumbs up that you, I mean, yo lo espero que no haga, no haga errores. 
All right. Pero lo van a ver. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. All right. So ya lo hizo. Vamos a hablar de esos que quedaron atrás. All right. So, so mandenme un thumbs up. Everybody. Very good. Yo solo Jenny. What about the rest? Okay. So very good. Very good. Excellent. Nice and nice. Let's see. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see. Let's double check. <clears throat> the, the, the objectives. Tonight objectives, right? So, well, we already checked this ones last night, but we're going to repeat them once again, right? It says like this. In this session, the use of modal verbs will and will for request would be thought, all right? So, in esta clase, el uso de los verbos modales, eh, modales will and will para ofrecer, y, para, para ofrecer y pedir será explicado, será enseñado, ¿verdad? Entonces, vámonos acá, una sola vez. Podemos ver la plataforma. Sí. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. ok, vamos a ver en dónde nos quedamos ayer. Vamos a ver. All right, we will see this. Creo que ya vimos este, este video. Lo vamos a ver nuevamente rápido. Es corto, solo para que nice agarre la idea. Back in class. Please take notes on wood and will. Try to understand how they are being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. <clears throat> I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. We presented would and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your request to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject, plus like, plus infinitive verb, plus complement, plus question mark. Let me uh, make a short parenthesis right there, guys. All right, so uh, remember, right now we are beginners, right? So we are trying to, to learn to speak English, all right? It's kind of hard for some of you. Some of the, I mean, some of you are learning faster. Some others are learning, you know, slower, okay? So, but that's not, a, that's not the point. The point is que usted tiene que poner atención a los puntos gramaticales, ¿verdad? Cuando, ahí está diciendo la colega, la colega de que cuando, esto solo es para hacer, este, no requisa, sino que, ¿cómo se dice request en inglés? Se dice petición, ¿verdad? Cuando se hacen peticiones, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, no me vaya a decir nunca o vaya a mencionar usted cuando vaya a, a otro país de, de, de habla inglesa, no vaya a decir, me like o you like, I mean, you need to be polite, all right? So if you want to make a request, remember, either or, you can use, would you like to eat? Would you, why, what would you like to drink? Would you like to drink some, some coffee? Would you like to drink uh, iced tea? Entonces, puedes utilizar los dos. W, WH question plus the modal verb, which is will, all right? So remember, Acuérdese de que usted tiene que fijarse en que no tiene que sonar mal en ningún momento. Usted dice, Dios mío, Dios mío, ¿qué, ¿qué palabra es la que va aquí? Y entonces usted la coloca y empieza. Por eso le digo yo, practice, make the master, ¿ok? Let's go. One second. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using word to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of wood in the answer? 
That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like plus compliment. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using would. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? All right, se entendió la última parte, guys. Please respond using would. What would restaurant and you are the waiter? This is my response. Would plus like. All right, so, eh, as, haciendo énfasis en lo que dice la, la colleague en esta parte, acuérdese que usted tiene que contestar like the way we've been asking. Like the way I am asking you. ¿Verdad? Como le dije la vez pasada yo, si yo le digo, Jenny, do you speak English? What would be your answer? Susie, do you speak English? What would be your answer? No, I don't. Or no, I don't speak English. <clears throat> yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Remember. Okay. All right. So, so ese es lo mismo lo que está diciendo aquí la, la, la colleague, right? Que usted tiene que contestar. Si le digo yo, would you, what would you like to drink? Viene usted el subject, I would like, I would like, y el complemento, ¿verdad? I would like to drink Coca-Cola. I would like to drink, uh, qué sé yo, horchata, horchata. I would like to drink glass of water, ¿sí? Pero tiene que ser compaginado a cómo se lo están preguntando, all right? Any questions? No questions? All right, very good. ¿Estamos claros ahí, mis niños, mis niñas? Yes. One question, teacher. Sure, go ahead. Uh, like uses with word, only like. Es que si usted lo utiliza, le entiendo su punto de vista. Si usted lo, lo utiliza, por eso es lo que yo le digo yo. Si usted me va a decir, uh, llego a su casa y me va a decir, y, y, ¿cómo me diría usted? Eh, le gustaría tomarse una, una taza de café Mr. Escamilla o sea, ¿cómo me lo diría? ¿verdad que no me diría you like coffee? primero me tiene que hacer la, pre me tiene que hacer la pregunta concreta do you like, no, do you like coffee you like? do you like coffee? porque yo le puedo decir sí o no okay. yes I do viene usted y me dice would you like to have a cup of coffee with my family? I would like to drink a cup of coffee with you and your family. Not a problem. Yes. Si me explico. Pero nunca me voy a empezar la conversación. Like coffee. Okay. Okay. Coffee like. Okay. Make coffee and drink. No. Eso no existe. Si me explico. Okay. O sea, tenemos, yes. que, tenemos que aplicarle el moral verb. Por eso se llaman eh, verbos de modalidad. Que le da un, una, una modalidad, diría yo en este sentido... Bien frecuente en el sentido de educación. Modalidad. Okay. O sea, eso es. Ok, very good. Thank okay. you. Ok, ahorita que participó, léame aquí, por favor, uh, Amalia. Instruction. Ok, ahí no está en azul. Ok. Instruction, read the following conversation. Choose between the option given. All right, let me read it back to you once again. Instructions, read the following conversation. Choose between the options given. All right, uh, la siguiente conversación, instrucciones. La, lea las siguientes instrucciones. Uh, perdón, la siguiente conversación, escoja entre las opciones dadas. Okay, what will be the answer? Waiter, what will or what would you like to order? What will? What will? Oh. What would you like to order? Yeah. Why, uh, Laura, why, why will and no will? Uh, I have a question. Because it's a question, right? And you, you're trying to be polite with the person, with the with the customer, right? So you are the waiter. Y no es que usted le lo va le le va le va a decir ordenarías ordenarías una hamburguesa, verdad? Que no no es así la 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 pregunta. Que usted yo que usted llegue al restaurante y yo le diga 
a José, le diga, José Herminio, este, ¿tú gustarías ordenar una, así, verdad que no es así, tú ordenarías una pizza, ordenarías una hamburguesa mañana? No, I'm here, me diría él, I'm here, I want it now. Ah, would you like to order a pizza today? Yes, I would like to order a pizza today. All right, así va. Okay, next customer. I'll or I have the freaking uh, the, the fried chicken. I okay. Waiter will will. Would you like would you like rice or uh, would you like rice or potatoes? Okay, customer. I will or I want like potatoes, please. I want. I want, I right? Will. I want, right? I will. I will. I would like. Uh, say I would like potatoes, would please, like. or I want. I would like. I would like. Yeah. All right, waiter. What kind of potatoes would you would you like or want? Like. like, all right. Six customer, I or I'll like mashed potatoes. I, 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 Will oh, that be yes. for now? I I'm sure. Tan seguro que es will. Are you sure? Mírenme la, mírenme la pregunta. Will that be yeah. for now? Will that be for now? Or will that be for now? Will, will that be? Will that? Will that, right? All right. I think... No, it's, oh, it's will, okay? Yeah, Will that be for now? Or see, see, mm -hmm. I'm learning too. I'm learning too. All right. So very good, very good. So we have a 28, 20, 20, uh, 33. All right. What else is the mala? The second one. The second one. Okay. Uh, I, I. So la última. So la última. All right. Very good. You have to send it again. You raise a wall in a Mexicas. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. Right on, right on. No, no worries, guys. All right, you see, we are learning. We are learning. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see, Juana, read this for me, please. A listening exercise will be played in order for participants to develop this skill and learn to listen for the time. Details, right? Very good, okay. Let's see. All right. Let's order. All right, so let's see. Um, Jose, please read this for me. Jose Arminio. Okay. Uh, instruction. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant what did they order click on the right choice okay all right let's do this all right so dice escucha rex y a hannah ordenar en un restaurante que ordenó cada uno escoja la opción correcta okay vamos a ver Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them French fries here. <laughs> right, I'll have some French fries, please. All right. One coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with french fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? 
Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh, what kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm, I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> Then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. You wanna listen? You wanna listen again, or you wanna choose right now which, which is the option for uh, Hannah's order? All right, what would be the? Uh, I mean, Rex orders would be what? Coffee with cream and sugar, and piece of uh, and piece of. Apple pie or coffee with cream and sugar, a piece of raspberry pie. Apple pie. Excellent. What about Hannah? Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Rice tea. Rice tea. Rice tea. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Right on. Right on. Let's see. All right, let's see. All right, I listen in, uh, um, I'm sorry, listen the, uh, to the conversation, all right? Listen to, uh, to the conversation, check the correct information. All right, let's see, let's go. Another one. Hey, listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Where did you go for your vacation? I went to Hokkaido in Northern Japan. It was my third time there. Oh, really? I've never been there. Did you enjoy it? I sure did. I love the mountains, and there are some beautiful beaches there. Are the beaches crowded? No, you can usually find very quiet beaches. Sounds like it's an excellent place to relax. Oh, yeah. That's why I go there. Two. Have you ever been to Paris? Yes, I have. I went there last year in July. How did you like it? It's an amazing city. I had a really great time there. And what about this year? Have you taken a vacation yet? No, I haven't. But I plan to spend a week on a beach somewhere, probably in August. Sounds good. Three. Can you tell me a little about Barcelona? Oh, my favorite city. It's so beautiful. What should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit some of the wonderful museums there, like Picasso's and Miro's. And you shouldn't miss the Ramblas. The Ramblas? Yes. It's a very long street. You can walk and stop for a drink or a meal there. Sounds great. And when's a good time to visit? Oh, I went there in June, and the weather was very nice. Don't go in the winter, though. It's pretty cold then. Okay. Thanks for your information. Four. Did you enjoy your trip to Canada? Oh, it was great. What did you do there? Well, I went to Vancouver and stayed there for a couple of days. <clears throat> and then I took a ferry boat to Victoria. I don't think I know Victoria. It's a really nice city on Vancouver Island. It has an interesting harbor with lots of sailboats. Is it a safe place? Oh, yes. And it's not polluted at all. It's wonderful. All right, number four, what would be the answer? Number one, number two, number three? Number three. Number three. Number three, okay. Number number three, what would be the answer? Number one, number two, number three? Number two. Number two. two. Number two. Okay. And number two, what would be the answer? Number one, number two, number three? Number one, and number one would be number one, number two, number three. Number two, number two, two. All right, excellent. Excellent, ten to ten. Very good, very nice, guys. All right, so let's see. All right, what about? Oh, let's see. Put the words in the correct order to make sentences. All right, so let's see. Um, okay, let's see. Lisa, 
put the words in the correct order to come up with the proper sentence, all right? So what will be the, the, the answer for number one? Number one, number two, number three, number four. Number one. Number one. So all these are ready. Fascinating city. Okay. Fascinating city, all right? Very good. Fascinating All right, city. number two. Number three. Number three. Peru is extremely Peru interesting is country. Interesting country. All right, repeat everybody. Peru is extreme, extremely interesting country. Peru is, Peru is extremely, is extremely, extremely interesting, interesting country. country. Okay. All right, number three uh, would be number one, number two, number three, number four. Number two. Number two. Taipei number is just too expensive for me. Let's repeat. Taipei is too expensive for me. Taipei is too expensive for me. Okay, let's go. Um, Excellent. 15 to 15. All right. So let's go with the second, I mean, next one. All right. Uh, cycle the correct word, read the sentences, and choose the correct adjective. New York City is very exciting, but it, I mean, but it boring, safe, or stressful? Stressful. Yeah. Okay. Lis Lisbon is an interesting city and it's beautiful, noisy, polluted. Beautiful. 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 All right. Uh, Ta Tokyo is safe. I'm sorry. Tokyo is a safe, a safe city. It's clean, crowded, and dangerous. Da. Crowded. Crowded. Crowded, crowded right? Crowded. crowded. My hometown is pretty boring. It's very expensive. Very relaxing or very ugly, however. Relaxing. Relaxing. Nadie va a armar, nadie va a, ¿cómo es? Nadie va a hablar mal de su casa aunque se le esté cayendo. Cayendo. Exactly. <laughs> very good, very good. All right, let's see. All right, complete the sentences with should, shouldn't, or can't, all right? So, let's see. This city can be dangerous at night. You should shoot it or get it. Should it. All right, very Shulden. good. Shulden. All right, you can, you should, you shouldn't travel by subway late at night. Mm -hmm. There are no trains after midnight. Can. 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 All right, in Hong Kong, the weather is, is best in the fall. You can, you should, you shouldn't go there then. You should. You should. You should. You should. You should. All right, let's see. Very good, excellent. Uh, uh, 15 to 15, okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. All right, it says like this, right? Match the problem with the advice, then use uh, the information to write conversations, all right? So let's see. Match the problem with the advice of fever. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. All right, aspirin. very good. A uh, sunburn, a sunburn, use a hidden pad, see a dentist, take some aspirin, or try this lotion. Try, try this lotion. Try this lotion. Try this lotion. Sore, uh, sore muscles. Use a hidden pad. See a dentist. Take some aspirin or try this lotion. Use, Use a, a, a hidden pad. Use a hidden pad. A tooth headache. Use a hidden pad. See a dentist. Take some aspirin or try this lotion. See, see a, a dentist. dentist. Excellent. All right. Very good. Excellent. Uh, 15 to 15. All right, let's see. The last one. I guess it's the last one. All right, let's see. All right, the last one. Let's see. It says like this, right? Complete the conversation with a bottle, jar, pack, or two. Do you already complete these exercises, guys? Yes? Customer, what? do you have for coal? Pharmacists, take this bottle jar pack two of vitamin, vitamin C. Take one every day. What would be the answer? Take one. 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 Take
Bottle. 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 Bottle, right? Bottle. Okay, customer, can I have something for your dry skin? Pharmacist, I suggest this bottle, jar, pack, or tube of hand cream. Hand cream, apply some every some. Apply some every morning. What will be the answer? Jar. 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 Okay. All right, customer. May I have something for a uh, took edit pharmacist? Of course, try this bottle, jar, pack, or tube of a special toothpaste. Two. 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 Two, right? Two. All right, customer. Could I get something for a sore throat pharmacist? Pharmacist, sure. Here, here's a bottle, jar, pack, or tube, cough drop. They really work. Pack. 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 Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Four teams, uh, people suggest to write, you should, I mean, four teams, people suggest that writing should do. All right, this uh, read the article, look the following words, and then check the meaning of each. Vamos a ver. All right, the article is too tiny, right? Oh. So we're going to double check some other information here. Give me one second. Okay. Are you able to see the, the other platform, guys? Yes or not? Yes. Okay. Everybody can see it? What says uh, Manual Educativo, Programa, Programa Mi Futuro? Yes? Okay. Solo uno me contestó. Manual. No sé. Sí, el manual. ¿Lo pueden ver? Sí. Sí, teacher. Se ve. Eh, perdón. Está la imagen del top tip. No, top tip. Vamos a cerrarlo. Vamos a pasar listo primero. Daughters, no one One second. All right, let me pass that list real quick. Uh, remember to say yes, hello, I'm here, present. But uh, you need to say your name, okay? Let's see. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, Vimael Octavino Ramirez Lopez. Oops. Present. Okay, excellent. One second. All right, Aleida Arely Garcia Martinez. Aleida Arely Garcia Martinez. Amalia Beatriz Tobar de Perez. Present. All right, el que, el que no me conteste, me puede escribir al chat. Dígamelo porque lo voy a mencionar al, al, después que pase de lista, ¿ok? Present, teacher. All right. Amalia Beatriz, Tobar de Pérez. Very good. Diego Francisco Aguilera, Aguilera Rodríguez. Diego Francisco Aguilera Rodríguez. Elizabeth Enriquera Rivera de López. Elizabeth Enriquera Rivera de López. Francisco Armando García Florentino. Present. Thank you. Gabriel Isaac Guevara Paredes. Present. Thank you. Henry Alejandro Flores Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Iris Vanessa Queller Batres. Present. Thank you. Isaac Adonai Tovar. <clears throat> Isaac Adonai Tovar. Jessica Alexandra Melendez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Joao, Joao Mauricio Villalta Sorto. Here, sir. Thank you. Jose, Hermin, Jose Herminio Ramirez Umaña. Present. Jose Heriberto Durán Prado. Present teacher. Juana, thank you. Juana Ainis Velasco Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Virginia Castillo Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Hazel Fernand Diaz. Present. Thank you. Maria del Carmen Guzman Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Miriam, Dan uh, Miriam, Miriam Darlene Escobar Serran. Present. Miriam Mar uh, Maricela Escobar Ciron. Miriam Maricela Escobar Ciron. Thank you. Mirna Griselda Mejia Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Orquídea Esmeralda Escobar Portillo. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Patricia del Carmen Alfaro de Hernandez. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Pleites Martinez. Rosa Esperanza Pleites Martinez. Roxana Yasmin Cedil Lemus. Present. Thank you, Salvador Antonio Martinez Serrano. Present. Sonia Griselda Pinti de Menjiver. Sonia I'm Griselda. here, coach. Thank you, Susana. Thank you, Susana Margarita Jaime Mejia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Tomas Antonio Gonzalez Escobar. Here, mister. Thank you, Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Present, teacher. Excellent. No sé si no mencioné a alguien, quiero ver el chat, vamos a verlo rápido. Hola, teacher, buenas noches, fíjese que no, no escuché cuando mencionó mi nombre porque voy llegando a la casa, pero he estado en la clase, Diego Francisco Aguilera. Ok, perfecto, ya está ahí chequeado, vamos a ver. Gracias. Aleida, tengo problemas con el micrófono, ok, Aleida Arelí eh, García Martínez, ok, pero está acá. Perfecto, ok, one second, vamos a, <coughs> a seguir con... Nuestra programación. One second, please. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now, guys. I guess it's too big. Pero está bien así. Vamos a dejarlo así. ¿Lo pueden ver? Sí. Yes. Okay. A ver. Other side. Yeah, One second, please. Well, we already checked this uh, last night, right? So we checked this uh, back battle, right? Let's see conversation. We check this already. One second. All right, let's uh, double check this part real quick, okay? Uh, grammar focus, all right? So, uh, grammar focus uh, is the part of the class where you identify the grammar points that we've been checking so far, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya sabemos que venimos uh, no lidiando, guerreando, entendiendo, no entendiendo, pero a la vez practicando, y eso hace que nos dé mayor satisfacción, que es a repetir lo que estamos o ser, lo que estamos practicando con el maestro ¿verdad? entonces dice can may I help you repeat can may I help you can may may I help you what do you, what do you suggest what, what do you suggest, do you suggest? Do you suggest? how for dry skin how for dry skin ahora de una de una sola vez what do you suggest have for dry skin? What, what do you suggest, suggest have for dry skin? Excellent. Can I have a box of cough drops? Can I have a box of cough drops? Try some of this lotion. Try some of this lotion. Could I have something for a cough? I suggest some ointment. I suggest some ointment. May I have a bottle of aspirin? May I have a bottle of aspirin? You should get some skin cream. You should get some skin cream. Thank you. All right, let's see. Just a moment. Just a moment. All right. Okay, now let me go ahead and double check some information real quick. All right, I want you to you guys uh, review some information from previous uh, unit that we've been checking so far. Okay, this is another topic that we need to double check, right? So uh, this is basically a role play, right? So I'm going to send you to the break rooms and you need to have this role play. And the student A is the one that is going to ask 
you are a customer in a drugstore. You need something for, y usted empieza el estudiante, el estudiante va a empezar a decir something for a low energy, something for the flu. All right, you are a customer in a drugstore and you need, lo que está aquí donde dice something, 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 usted es lo que va a pedir, ¿verdad? Ask, ask for some suggestions, right? ¿Cómo se diría una suggestion? Uh, uh, let's see, uh, Susie. ¿Cómo pediría usted una, hiciera una, una sugerencia, una suggestion? Susi. Uh, you could take some aspirin. That's an advice. That's an advice. A suggestion. What do you, I mean, ¿cómo preguntaría una, una, una sugerencia? ¿Usted cómo lo diría en inglés? Ya lo dije, casi lo estoy diciendo. pregunta. Ajá, su pregunta, ¿cómo diría? Ya se lo estoy diciendo. ¿Cómo diría una sugerencia en inglés? I suggest you, right? Or what do you suggest? What do you suggest, Susie, for some... I mean, what do you, what do you suggest for something for a low energy? What do you suggest or what do you need for something for the flu? For uh, what do you... What do you need for something for a, a back headache? Así, ¿verdad? Entonces le voy a mandar al break room y hacemos esta actividad rapidito, ¿ok? Just a moment. ¿Se entendió, guys? Y el, el estudiante B, perdón, el estudiante B tiene que decir, you are a pharmacy in a drugstore, ¿ok? El estudiante B, customer needs something, some things, make some suggestion, all right? Lo que vimos en el role play anteriormente, ¿sí se entiende, guys? ¿Sí? Ya le hubieran tomado captura de pantalla y lo hubieran puesto en su, en, en, un, en, un, en un pad, right? En un pad o en un, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Ya, yeah, en un no pad, lo tuvieran ya, ¿verdad? Lo hubieran hecho así para que usted no se quede eh, sin preguntar. Porque yo, yo le quisiera dar copy and paste, pero no puedo. No me, no, me, no me da la opción. Quiero ver. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver si. Vamos a ver si lo puedo mandar. Si se va, pues ya lo hicieron. Ahí está, mira. Qué lindo, mira. Got it? Now? Better? Yes? Guys? I'm talking. Yes. Yeah, very good. Very good. Excellent, excellent, guys. Excellent. All right, let me send you to the breaker rooms, okay? So... El que no está participando o el que no o el que no puede meterse a los breaker rooms, no, no se meta porque va, no va el, el otro, pues el que está con usted no va a participar, pero yo lo voy a mandar para otro, otro breaker room, ok? Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A ver, break your rooms. All right. Let's go. Grupo de tres, grupo de dos, acéptenme ahí. Let's go. Tienen un, dos minutos para hacer eso. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Acepte, 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 acepte. Solo Henry José, vamos a ver. Acepte, 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 acepte. Mauricio, acepte, please. Joao, Mauricio Vialta. ¿Dónde está Mauricio?
All right, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everybody's here. All right, guys, I, I understand that we have a, we, we don't have much time, right, to complete this activity, right? However, we are going to ask you, I'm going to ask you some questions right now, right? So in order to comprehend in a better way, well, I mean, in a better way, the activity that we just did, okay? Give me one second. What is the rest? I just have a, a four students. Let's see the, the remaining. It'll come. Let's see. Yo todavía les faltaba como medio, medio minuto, ok. Ok, guys. All right, so, uh, Amalia, tell me, what do you suggest for a stomach headache? Usted la, farmacia, la farmacéutica o la farmacista, perdón, yo soy el customer. What do you suggest for a stomach headache? You're mute. Okay. Could you uh, to take aspirin? Mm, por ahí vamos, pero eh, faltó algo, faltó algo. Let's see. Um, Patricia, what do you suggest for a stomach headache? I have a stomach headache, you know, I ate a lot tonight and I have a stomach headache. What do you suggest? As good. Okay, let's see. Okay, pay attention. Su Susie, what do you suggest? Because uh, I have a stomach headache, what do you suggest uh, to do? I suggest that you have to take to drink Pecto Bismol. Excellent, excellent. You see? Okay, the peor como me contestó Susie. Me contestó acknowledge con el acknowledge, right? De la pregunta. You need to acknowledge all the time. No se le olvide eso. Okay. Porque si, si no, este, como le repito, aquí vamos para arriba, no vamos, no vamos así como que vamos, vamos retrocediendo. Acuérdense que vamos para arriba y la misión es llegar a una entrevista un día, que nos entreviste a alguien, el cónsul o quien sea. Cuando vayan a pedir visa, les van a hacer las preguntas en inglés. El que quiera, ¿verdad? Porque si le vieran que usted habla inglés, le van a decir las cosas en inglés. Pero si le preguntan, what do you suggest? What, what do you, what do you, let me see, si le pregunta el consul, do you suggest me to tell you yes? It'll give, uh, to give you the, the visa? Or do you suggest to avoid to give you the visa? Y usted se queda, ¿qué suggest? Entonces, te tiene que poner atención a esas preguntas, ¿verdad? Entonces, well, I suggest, yes, Mr. Consul, uh, Mr. whatever, right? Um, yes, Mr. I suggest you to give me my visa because I want to go and visit my family in the United States or Canada. All right? So, Susie, le dio acknowledge. Es como le digo yo, le repito y le vuelvo a repetir, a repetir, a repetir. Do you speak English? What would be your answer? Yes, I do. No, I don't. I don't. All right? Obviamente que usted me puede contestar. Yes. No. Pero eso es informal. Ah, pero tanto, 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 tantas florecitas que le ponen al inglés y, y si en español no es nada, dice usted, ¿verdad? Si nosotros nos hacen una pregunta o le decimos sí o no, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, no. Cuando miramos al amigo le hacemos así, ¿verdad? Ya no, ya no, ya no decimos, hey, hello, how are you, how you doing, ¿verdad? Que ya perdimos esa, esa, esa costumbre. O sea, nosotros le hacemos. Ya no dice ni adiós, solo levanta la mano y le hace así. Ya no dice, bye, I see you tomorrow. Take it easy, take care. Right? Right? So we need to be, we need to show empathy, guys. Remember about that. If somebody's asking you a question, you need to pay attention and listen. Me gustó. Yo sé que hicieron ese ejercicio varias veces y por eso me dieron las respuestas correctas. Qué bueno. Y si lo hicieron a la primera, qué bueno, lo felicito. Pero eso es bueno que usted tenga un active listening, all right? Because if you don't have a, un active listening, you lost. Usted está perdido. Usted está perdida, ¿verdad? Porque usted le va a decir, ¿qué me está diciendo? ¿Qué me está diciendo? Yo le dije la vez pasada, 
a veces por nuestros gestos, gestures that we do all the time when we talk, we show a lot, enseñamos mucho. Entonces usted use las lógicas. Ay, teacher, no está diciendo otras cosas. No, use lógicas en el buen sentido. A veces le dicen una cosa y usted dice, oh, quiere, quiere luz. O sea, por ejemplo, usted mira, mira a alguien, en, en la, en el, se van las luces y, y algo sucede, pues usted, alguien dice, uh, let's see matches. Where are the matches are? Where the matches are? Matches, 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 matches. Oh, los, los fósforos, los fósforos. Ok, los fósforos. Ok, so candles, 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 candelas, candelas, like this, all right? You need to be faster. Yes, Iris, tell me. En este caso, con las preguntas que estamos realizando en este momento, debe ser siempre el to yes, o en ese caso no podría yo sustituirlo por el should, que también le estoy dando como una recomendación, pero no sería correcto. Mm, es dependiendo, es dependiendo el... El contexto, porque acuérdese que este, el suggest, es como prácticamente, aquí hay, aquí hay varios, hay varias, ¿cómo se llama? Opciones, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, la, la, la señora fue al, a la farmacia y el, farmacé, el, far, el farmacista, ¿verdad? La farmacia le dijo, how, can I, how may I help you? Uh, y después creo que le dijo, I have a call. And uh, I believe I'm gonna, uh, I will get a call. Is it? Okay, I suggest you to get, I suggest you to get this uh, pills. Algo así creo que le digo. I suggest you to, te sugeriría, te sugiero que tomes esto. Pero si yo le digo, you should, es como que ya me sugirió anteriormente y yo no me tomé las pastillas que me dijo usted como farma, farmacéutica o farmacista de la, de la farmacia. Usted me dio las pastillas y yo llegué peor porque no me las tomé. Y viene ahora usted, Iris, y me dice, Hey, mister, you should take the pills. I told you last time. O sea, es como que ya me lo está recalcando, ¿verdad? Ya como que, come on, come on, pone atención a lo que te están diciendo. Te vas a morir si no te tomas las pastillas, all right? El suggest es como así polite. I suggest to drink this, Iris, all right? So you can have this, this, uh, this box of aspirins or you can have this bottle of aspirins, all right? I don't know which one would you like. Oh, I, uh, I would like to get the, I would like to get the, you know, the box. Okay. And you come back and I will ask you, Iris, did you take the pills? No, I didn't. Come on, Iris. You should take the aspirins like the way I told you. Ahí está todo. ¿Sí? ¿Se entiende? Very good, very good. Very good, very good. Okay, so uh, do you have any questions so far, guys? Any questions? Acuérdese de que usted tiene que contestar de la manera que le pregunten. Y yo sé que a veces nos ponemos como te, de, así como con miedo, ¿verdad? Con miedo. O sea, que, a, a que la vamos a que la vamos a cantear, como le dice. Vamos a, vamos a, la vamos a, vamos a fregar el momento. No. Si yo le digo, uh, Orquídea, what do you suggest to do? Or what do you, do you suggest me to take? Because I have a headache. I have a headache. Oh my goodness. What do you suggest, uh, Arcadia? Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I suggest to drink a lot of water and oh. to, to, to drink some aspirin. Okay. And, and relax. Excellent. Very good. Very good. You see? All right. So, and let's see, Joao. What do you suggest me to take? I have a, a back, a back headache. My back hurts. Oh my goodness. Oh, I suggest uh, take uh, aspirin and tomorrow visit uh, at Medic. Tomorrow you need, uh, you should go, you should go. I even see me Tomorrow you should go to the, you should go to the, to, to the doctor. Very good, very good, very good. You see guys? ¿Por qué sonamos un poquito eh, lack of uh, vocabulary? ¿Por qué sonamos con una, una deficiencia de vocabulario? Porque no practicamos. Como le repito y le repito, me practica, usted aprende. No practica, no aprende. Uy, qué, qué directo este, 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 instru este instructor. No, en serio. Es que así es. Practica, aprende. No practica, no aprende. All right. Ah, ya me solucionó. A mí no me queda tiempo. No, ya le dije. You need to 
talk. If you don't have nobody, I mean, if you don't have nobody to talk, I already, I already told you, just talk with yourself, all right? So, veas en el espejo y empieza a hablar con usted mismo, all right? So, ¿cuántos de ustedes han hecho la actividad que les dije la vez pasada que le, eh, me, me practicaran un, leyendo un libro? Por lo menos cinco, diez minutos, así rápido. Seanme honesto, levánteme la mano, seanme honesto y vamos a ver. Sí, el que ha tenido tiempo, pues sí, desde que empezamos. Yo, ah, Mauricio, uno. Yo no lo he hecho cinco minutos, pero sí lo hice un par de, de minutos. Ok, very good. Tomás. También, más o menos, oh, pero no, no estoy... todos los días, la verdad. Yo estoy estudiando eh, ciberseguridad en Cisco Network eh, y todos los manuales son en inglés, así que me ha ayudado. Very good, very good, very good. So, pero le digo yo, hagámoslo y no es que, o sea, no es que yo quiera estar encima de usted. Try to do what I'm, what I'm telling you, and believe me, you will see the result. The overcomes, you know, are going to tell you a lot of, a lot of information. Los resultados le van a decir mucha información a usted. Pero si no toma los tips, porque a veces solo nos dan los, la, la pura información, pero no nos dan estrategias ni tips para poder aprender rápido. All right? So, and you're lucky because you, you got me, right? So, I'm giving you, you know, the tips that you need to know about uh how to learn to speak english faster all right so do you have any questions so far guys before we go to bed i know that you guys are tired we need to go to sleep tomorrow is another day tomorrow is friday right so and christmas it's coming any questions guys so no, far mister. no, no question. question all right i'll see Thank you tomorrow you. have a wonderful rest of the night take it easy Thank and you. have a good night again take care guys Thank you, teacher. Nice. you're nice. welcome good night Good night, Good night, night. Good night. teacher. Bye, Bye. teacher. Bye, guys. Bye, -bye guys. Okay.